I began the real part of my professional career in a school that was broken in about as many ways as a school can be and knew this has to be done better. My name is Jason Singer and I'm the principal of Kip King Collegiate High School. What really galvanized for me when I started thinking about KIPP as a solution was that your zip code did not confer upon you a limited amount of opportunity as opposed to a limitless one. We've told our kids since fifth grade that the focus of your work is to get to college. And our theory of practice at King is that critical thinking wins the day. My name is Jared Kishida. I uh, teach history at Kip King Collegiate High School in San Lorenzo, California. If there's a constant theme throughout my teaching, it's that I want to have Socratic dialogue, you know, critical thinking skills almost every day. The hallmark of it is questions, thought-provoking, difficult questions being asked by a teacher, and thought-provoking and difficult questions being asked by students. If you were like, hey, Kushida, what can I, uh, how much does an A cost in this class? <laughs> and you like took out your wallet and, you know, and I was like, uh, I think 50 bucks would work. Which one of us would be corrupt in that case? The trust that Kushida gives them is what empowers them. It would be you. Why? Because you're the one that's asking for it, right? So whoever is asking for an illegal or immoral favor is corrupt? You're the one that's asking for the money. But what's the relationship between us? What's the power relationship? I'm higher power. So could you be corrupt in that relationship or would it have to be? It really had to grow on me because in ninth grade I was not a good student. But then meeting the teachers and their passion really just made me want to stay and want to learn. To me, critical thinking means thinking beyond what you hear. It makes me think about myself differently. It makes me think about education differently. It's more than just about academics. It's about, you know, what you know in your brain, in your heart, in your soul. My name is Kate Belden. Uh, currently, I'm the assistant principal of Kip King Collegiate High School. I teach Leadership 1 and Leadership 2. We're on a team where Everyone is devoted to our mission, that it is possible for every single student that attends our school to have the opportunity to go to four-year college if, if they want to do that. When they walk on a college campus for their first time, you know, they're gonna be hit almost immediately with so many crises of confidence. They're going to be surrounded by predominantly white students when their entire education here, they've been surrounded predominantly by people of color. We can't control the fact that they're gonna be in a, in a situation for the first time, at least in the last eight years, where they're with a lot of affluent students. We can't control those things, so we think about how can we best prepare them to be extraordinarily comfortable in the academic setting. When that professor starts speaking, if their legs kind of steal beneath them, and they're able to say to themselves, I got this, then at that point, it's beyond just having power. What we want them to have is influence. What does control mean to you and what does influence mean to you? For control, it's kind of like yourself and then for influence, a lot of people can influence you. So it's individual and then more people. The people who you're controlling, they don't really have an option to do something else besides what you said. Whereas influence is more like you're giving them an option or like persuading them to do a certain thing. I feel that in order to gain control, you must have like influence as a catalyst. And to gain influence, you should have control. We have no idea whether students at King are persisting in college because we're graduating our first class now. I mean, time will tell. Persistence rates will either prove or disprove this notion we have of the importance of critical thinking. But when I look at our seniors, there is a difference in disposition. They have a presence that really gives me confidence that they're ready to succeed. <laughs>